we have a good feel now for the explosive phase of the pandemic in Wuhan that really started in December. There was the involvement of a certain market. That was not the whole story. There was also circulation beyond that. And there are leads from the market in that it sold wild animal products coming from regions which uh, have wild animal farming, but where we also know that there's quite a high uh, presence of SARS-like viruses in the bat population. So there's potential opportunity for spillover. So that's where that sort of concluded saying, okay, no, there was not widespread circulation months before the first alert, which some people think that's not the case. I think you use the right word, speculation and accusation. And the problem with that is very difficult to prove a negative in science. We discussed uh, this question with colleagues from the three laboratories that have been involved in Wuhan. So the laboratories of the Public Health Institute and Research uh, uh, Institute that specializes in bat viruses. We discussed their research, their work, uh, their activities. We looked at their laboratories. We discussed their lab security setup. We discussed uh, how they monitor the health of their staff, uh, the testing of their staff. And we found nothing that really gave us the impression this is a lead to follow. And that's how far you can go as, you know, scientifically. There are people that say, but what if you don't believe what people have told you? Well, that's where it all ends. What we do is look at the scientific evidence and we found not a grain of evidence for a lab escape theory.